GolfGolf.com editor Eamon Lynch is here and SI Golf Group senior writer Cameron Morfitt. Good to have you guys. And uh, Eamon, let's start with you and your old buddy Tiger here. He uh, shoots a six over par today, 76, 16 over for the tournament. C can you make any sense of what we saw from Tiger Woods this week? Well, it was progress from yesterday by four shots. I think we've gotten accustomed to seeing Tiger come into the press center after his rounds and he always uh, tries to accentuate the positive. If he drives it off the planet, he will say he hit his irons well or he putted well. And we, we've seen that now for three or four years. There is not a single positive thing Tiger Woods can take from this week except that he's going to see his kids two days earlier than he planned on. Yeah. It, it was an abjectly miserable performance from start to finish. And I think he would probably echo your sentiments. It was a, a grind, a struggle from the start with him. His worst finish, 36 hole score in a major. Tiger talked about his US Open 2015. Well, Tiger, obviously we can't hear from him, but I can, uh, fair to say he was not happy with this round, Cam. Uh, let's talk a little more about him. He says he's going to stick to his summer schedule that is expanded a little bit. We'll next see him in a couple weeks, uh, July 4th weekend at the Greenbrier. Do you think that's the right move to get back out there after two weeks, or should he shut it down for a while? No, I mean, I think if you listen to Tiger speak after, after all of these terrible rounds that he's having, he keeps saying, well, he's not getting enough playing time. He's not getting enough reps. Well, at least by the end of this summer, he won't be able to keep saying that. I mean, he'll have to move on to something else. But the, the real question for me is how much is he really playing and how much is he really practicing? He says he's practicing, but is he practicing? And if he is practicing, then that's almost even cause for greater concern because that means this new swing with Chris Como just isn't really working. Uh, I, I don't know whether he's getting better or worse at this point. Jess, what's your take? I, is it the right move to keep going this summer or do, should he take some time and like he did a few months back, take a few months to get himself, you know, he said he wanted to get tour ready again. Uh, that's not what we've seen the last couple days out here. Yeah, it's interesting. Earlier this morning, I kind of called for Tiger to make a call, retire or or get better. I don't know. It's it's really painful for us to watch as fans. It must be painful for Tiger to go through this on the golf yeah. course. So yes, he will be getting more reps this summer. But I'm just wondering, what's it really going to take for him? We keep we keep kind of extending this rock bottom for Tiger. And I mean, first it's the 85 at Memorial, and then we think, okay, he's going to come into this U.S. Open and let's see what he does. Now it's his worst 36-hole performance. I guess the one thing you could say is he can really only go up from here, I think. That's actually questionable. <laughs> I mean, he's the one who sets a new rock bottom. First it was a chipping yips over the winter and at Torrey Pines and at Phoenix. Then it was the 81, 82 he shot at Torrey Pines. Then it was the 85 at the Memorial. Then it's this week. He's the one setting rock bottom, and he's still digging, apparently. He's, obviously, he's out there. He's going to bring the same game back again in a couple of weeks. It's hard to imagine he's going to make a substantive leap between now and then. Well, and you know, Cam, in his press conference, he was saying, look, I want to win more of these. That's why I'm here. And I've won three U.S. Opens, and I think I, wanna, I can win, and I want to win more tournaments. I, yeah. And I, I remember thinking, like, is he... Is he delusional or what's going on here? Yeah. And now we see him perform this way and uh, I just, I really, I'm speechless. I don't really know what to think. Yeah, I mean the logic, it, it, it makes no sense whatsoever to say that I've won three of these, therefore I can win. <laughs> but, but no, you're not the same guy. You're, obviously you're not the same guy. We can all see that. Uh, at 39 years old, he has got to be the oldest 39 year old golfer that's ever played the PGA Tour. Uh, we just don't know. I mean, it, it's really hard to take him and his word at face value. We don't know whether he's healthy. We don't know if, he, if, if anything is going on behind the scenes, we would have no idea. He would be the last one to tell us. Mm -hmm. So uh, if, the, if there's a health issue, if he's saying he's practicing but not really practicing, we just don't know. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what he does the rest of this summer because he is playing quite a bit more. And it's, he almost, did. it's almost as though he's run out of positives to lean on anymore. Yeah. If he's going to sit there as he did on Tuesday and say, I've won three of these, they're off, I, I can win again. Well, Hill Irwin has won three of these things and he isn't winning this week either. <laughs> uh, he may have put in a better performance than Tiger did, yeah. but it, it seems a very thin platform to build his 